where there is a common propensity for rotation to the left being more free than the right in about 80% of the population. Right. That's what's called the common compensatory pattern, and it's mirrored by the fascial tissues. Where you have all the directions of rotation in one direction, it tends to represent um, a reduced ability uh, of those tissues to respond to change, to stress. They won't absorb and modify and adapt as well as the tissues where there's an alternating pattern. The zinc pattern assessment requires that we take the neck into full flexion while we're palpating the area around the suboccipital uh, tissues. And the neck in full flexion, unforced, restricts rotational uh, capabilities of everything below C2. So if I rotate here, it's the upper cervicals that I'm looking at. I'm just taking it to its easy end of range, getting a sense of how far does it travel going left compared with right. And it's more or less symmetrical. I think I'm hitting a slightly harder end, end point there than here. Now you, can, you do go more easily to the left. And we do the same at the um, lumbosacral area. I'm, I've got the crest of the pelvis in my palms. I'm palpating uh, close to the spine, and I'm looking at the rotational. What does it feel like to me? So this one likes to go to the right as well. So we have a left, left, right, right, which means. That